Hey folks, so this is going to be an open discussion. Uh, I am Rahman Muhammad. You know me that whatever knowledge sharing, whatever you know inputs regarding career counseling have been given, uh, giving and soft skills. Now, one of the latest buzzword in the market, which has been really taken over in every discussion, news articles, LinkedIn, and it is also adding a lot of fuel to the whole layoffs concern. The Chat GPT. What is Chat GPT? Generative Pre-trained Transformer, an extension to Google Chatbot. So, is this you know is is just going to be an enhancement to a chatbot, or like they are saying or they are overhyping that it is going to substitute human intellect? You know, it can be a hundred times better than a programmer. It can be uh, more creative than a poet. So, all these versions are coming. Now, what I thought is. I have requested one of you know my old student, which have you know I'm fortunate that I have mentored him, uh, Rajan uh, you know a graduate, 2021 pass out and he's working in a MNC company and he's an extremely you know a very very interesting guy and he's so much into you know uh, since his first year of engineering he's into programming doing own projects, so I thought you know uh, like it will be a great uh, if we do an open discussion with him. Of what his his understanding as an employee uh, is he feeling any threat of this chat GPT overtaking the you know uh, human skills uh, is it such day you know uh, the hype is real or not so hey Rajan so uh, did I introduce it correctly chat GPT is nothing but an algorithm uh, now open AI has started and many companies are in line so it's hundred times faster than a search engine it actually gives the direct output and uh, I think it's not original by nature also because it's an extension to the chatbot. Yeah, actually you are on the right. It's an upgrade of a chatbot. It started mm -hmm. with uh, like actually the chat GPT actually started from chatbot. In starting chatbot used to just take a sequential data like usko aap question de do, and it will give you the answer back. It was like just one to one mapping. So slowly right. what uh, as a like machine learning started involving story people understanding like this won't scale up like when the data is increasing things are increasing this won't scale up so they started trying to build a natural language processing when natural language processing start enhancing the data so in 90s time there was a chat bot release called eliza okay 1966 correct so I that chat memory, yes. yeah that chat bot has a data like it was a dialogue system but think about the recent chatbot uh, which is called chat GPT nowadays it's a it's totally a different beast what it does guys previously it was only trained for one or two dictionary kind of data but now it has been teach on, uh, trained on completely on wikipedia complete wikipedia in the sense like completely whatever is there in the wikipedia it also got with your twitter's data and it right now it start enhancing itself Correct. so usually the chatbot our chat GPT is like just question answering system it was but now it started understanding and making a mapping over the data in the mapping in the sense suppose you you directly cannot represent the data if we take a real life example uh, normally we store the data either in a CSV Excel or any JSON format where right. it does it's like 2d map kind of data a table structure right. but thing lies when it comes to a natural language you cannot represent the data in the same way because exactly. your one sentence like if you take a one sentence it will be noun pronoun verb adverb and your object speech and everything it is like interrelated so this is in self create a network over it and to store a network data you require a network so right. for that they created wordnet kind of algorithms which is like I don't know exactly what is the internal implementation. I didn't went till that, but thing like it's similar to WordNet, where your whole data is being stored in a particular format, where okay. your semantics, meanings, your feelings are like taken and considered stored in a space. If, for example, if you take a king, a king is as like as predictable. Like if you take a king, the yeah. king will be match with a if you are person like a man. Correct. King men are similar. Okay. okay. So, in this way, the chat GPT has been improved. Okay. Now, my concern is, for example, uh, in this context, uh, Rajan, what I'm doing is, so I'm asking chat GPT to write, you know, write a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, poem 
on life and i'm just giving this input what it does is with beautiful vocabulary great rhyming it is giving me the poem in less than 10 seconds to 15 seconds now what people are assuming is it's it is doing the job of a you know uh, what do i say uh, uh so one second it is doing the job of a poet but it's i think whatever i heard from you it's taking the uh, data from all the wikipedia existing knowledge uh, you know whatever resources has been shared in the world wide web it is taking the permutations and combinations and it is giving me a fresh output so doesn't uh, you know it's a very contradictory where the actual contribution is not getting the credit and the whole focus will be on the chat gpt that a robo is doing a great job than a actual creative so how this conflict uh, you know that's i was wondering the same thing applies to any art and this is a poem is an example it can be a program written by you you have shared in a github or some knowledge resource now chat gpt will take the credit for it right on the program one, yeah. it will never occur see actually okay. what is happening right suppose you are trying to create a poem the mm -hmm. poem semantics is meaning how it is able to write that is the original will be always be original you cannot replace a shakespeare's poem with anyone else because shakespeare make a mark but thing like what will happen right now like if it is a beginning level like you are just starting the career or you are trying to work in the field just now you got introduced if that field required the like repetition that will start getting replaced chat gpt is like one of the starting point like this is just gpt3 there's a gpt4 coming up it's like completely a different beast right now it only trained on like wikipedia data the thing of it like it just have a one fraction of the knowledge what we got so and the limitation is also till 2021 what i heard yeah it like it only took the history data of wikipedia and like as far as i know it's wikipedia and Twi not even twitter it's like common comments over query and stack overflow and okay. for the code it just read the documentation python got documentation it. and linux man documentation okay they like uh, if you take a like cup of a like you can say like you took 5 ml of water bottle and there is mm. only one drop which has been trained to chat gpt oh okay. so right now the complete beast is getting trained in a different way That's what right. actually it's happening like what actual the open ai mission is like they want for the space exploration to create a generalized model which mm -hmm. can help them after 100 or 120 years also to maintain the system to gain the knowledge okay. Okay. So that's how they are working. But what Fine. we started try to use, we try to use for our general purpose. Our general purpose. Now, one more, uh, you know, example. You are an extremely great programmer. I know personally also. There is a project. Your manager has given a task, a deadline, and you are working on it. And your manager gets a thought that why should not I also depend on Chat GPT? and you come up with a uh, like solution chat gpt is also giving a you know uh, method to it and if your manager for a second thinks that oh chat gpt is giving me better you know approach than rajan like do you feel that sense of threat or is it really possible like someone for any of uh, solution also they can completely depend on chat gpt uh, actually complete solution is not possible but partial solution is possible okay like not just chat gpt if you take example like black box ai is there or you can lay sequence generator is there code gen code box is there this okay. thing what it does like you have to frame the complete problem like with the logical understanding yes. and they will try to mimic a memory code they okay. won't give you exact code they will try to mimic a memory code second thing when it come to like industry a manager always focus on the client client requirement Absolutely. should be get satisfied Absolutely. so whether it's given by employee or chat gpt or black box uh, any it doesn't matter first thing like the client should get satisfied and you okay. know in real world client never get satisfied so for okay. sure human intervention is required ha huh, what chat gpt can it can act as a personal assistant when we are developing code Okay. Suppose if we take any example, if you are taking any other program, if you are trying to write a program or you are trying to write anything, you will do approximately 10 to 50 searches. 
Mm-hmm. Suppose you got a bug, you will check Stack Overflow, you will check Stack Exchange, you will check YouTube, you will normally check in Wikipedia, GitHub, everywhere. These of search will take a lot hours of time. Correct. So that hours has been reduced by ChatGPT because when we paste the like uh, our query or error, awesome. What ChatGPT does like whatever data it has, based on that it will give us immediate out. Okay, let me put my understanding now. It. like any technology since the ape man to the you know printer to the internet to the gadgets to the internet sorry to the uh, ai human being has always uh, welcome technology because it can avoid the redundancy so yeah. that we should not do repetitive things and whatever you have told me that even chat gpt can basically help you in doing uh you know uh, you know and not doing repetitive things like you set the benchmark uh you know and it will give the it will do the iteration things or probably you give a command to it that get ready with this data with that data i am trying to enhance some application or something so yeah. still you are the boss yeah. still the thought process still the uh, you know the decision maker is yours it's not something which is you are going or uh, you are losing control on this technology in the future that threat is there or Actually, you are ruling out that no no the thing is like uh, right now we are taking the control but in future like in future if a robot complete automation has been done That's at the what? time we cannot wait for human intervention to involve suppose there is a heart surgery and like human hand is not capable to like pin a one cell out of heart immediately they, you have to like manage somewhere a lot else. of clinical process yeah, is required clinical right. process is required in that moment if like suppose i added a small board which can go to your body and just treat that particular cell without doing the surgery how effective it will be at that critical moment it's not human intervention which will make a feedback is the immediate environment change suppose Agreed. in that sense full points to it yeah see anything which is helping us probably it is science and technology defense health fine on contradictory say for example i think oh, you are an employee i have been a career counselor there is a student i think your brother is in the call right yeah if a student feels that already due to covid due to the over exposure of digital learning he is already feeling that the classroom teaching is not worth right that is his assumption if yeah. he feels that chat gpt is teaching me everything why i should need a school why i should need a college like because all these discussions are also happening i heard one of the intellectual also uh, you know saying that this can substitute a school a college so uh, what do you think as a young generation or you know as a millennial i don't uh, really uh, you know believe in this theory but what's your take on it uh, i think so it may be possible in few field of studies and few field it won't be possible okay. suppose the field which require practical exposure Mm. it cannot be like replaced by chat gpt or any kind of ai but field that doesn't require practical exposure like if you take software engineering if you take mm. like uh, sequential modeling if you take Sorry. deep learning data science here it's all about how we are practicing in our own service not like what faculty is teaching it's what we are practicing okay. in that point of view chat gpt and taking ai help it will better But awesome. if you take practical law concept like where robotics come in picture, medical come in picture, think of it. If your medical surgeon has learned everything online, like how will he operate on the medicine when he don't even know how to hold the knife or exactly. how to hold a scissors? Exactly, exactly. So that's and, what. Uh, that's what. That's what. Because field, going with the college is the best option. Mm. But think like the field which doesn't require. Suppose if you take a software engineering, as you are also aware. there is a lag between software people who are getting trained and who are coming from the college college huge industry uh, gap yeah because uh, software and uh, updates for every 6 months universities update for every 5 years let's let's be very honest i am also uh, an educate uh, i am not trying to back up the loopholes that exists yeah so, and think of it when you are going to industry with 5 years old knowledge what method what optimization will you give to the client absolutely absolutely if it is a service based company it will depend on client if it is a product based okay. company here you have to lead the market yes not peep on the market you have to lead the market things are like not simple at all that's why okay. usually in software industry like if you see like there are many startup many like outer schools training happening because 
our of this gap. current education True. system is not able to fulfill it cool, ah, cool. there is a way that it can enhance if it accept the ai as a partner like Excellent. suppose your faculty is giving a training and there is a topic it's going on and if he can like help us what is the previous stand with based on the syllabus will give a skeleton and using cool. the ai he can give the remaining structure of the data great point great point we should you uh, know also be practical and we should be uh, broad enough uh, to accept that in data retrieval in you know probably in the fast in method in multiple uh, getting the diverse data we should accept that it is doing much better job and we should keep our alter ego aside and we should use it for a better sake rather than blindly uh, say arguing that how can it be better than me definitely if in a in a laboratory in a aml laboratory or in someone if it is assisting a faculty that's great now yeah, if you think like a, a simple aspect you know self driving car correct like correct. tesla is doing a great job and yes, there are like yes. few semi self driving car in india few like semi automated truck is running on right if you like a decline completely ai like they are ai cannot do better job than human or human has a ego better than like these things then it's like you are blindly disappointing the like whatever you that's a very regressive way to look at it i yeah. i hope uh, it's it's not been like that in the past yeah but this whole the scary the, the the whole um i'll say the insecurity is coming from see the ongoing season the last 6 months have been the worst when it comes to layoffs you have never heard a company like intel dell uh like to the matter of fact the biggest you know giants in the it industry are ruthlessly laid off their employees i'm i'm really uh, you know sorry about the word i'm using of course it's not intentional but the numbers were been huge the affected people are huge so do you think that the whole uh, you know panic uh, situation is getting much bigger because of this intervention of chat gpt tools and don't you think that the layoffs is also something with the perception because already they have un, you know purely misestimated the market right that's where the stakes were high because ultimately not to blame the manager because the least a manager can do is follow the instructions of the higher authorities because people should understand that it's all about investors the investors have taken this decision of downsizing the teams so suddenly overnight people have lost their job so how do you think like you are an employee too so are you not scared of uh like this like, like you no know, super fast technology coming and taking over the you know it industry and you know the layoffs or maybe it will impact your uh, credibility in the organization oh, no i don't think so because see when we if you talk about the recent layoff it's not first time it happen in world it's like previously also it happened but thing of is course. like this time it's huge because when covid time there was a estimation growth which was going on things were uh, like slowly running smooth and according to the data we like if you take intel they thought like there will be 10000 50000 more sales than usual exactly. if you take google google thought like there will be 1 billion more profit that's so, where they missed the boat they yeah. have hired people they have they had estimated huge budgets but when uh, you know the post pandemic the situations were drastically there was change and they had to say sorry they see they were forced to say sorry because see if you are getting a payment or like if your salary suppose i assume it is 18 lakh a company like uh, amazon google or microsoft cannot pay you 6 lakh correct like they have a standard that, which they already promised you they cannot roll off their standard that's because the point. of and, that yeah and the employee may, may also not agree because i cannot downsize my like you know yeah. uh, uh, you know go back in terms of my compensations because while in future when the market is back how the uh, argument or how he can defend himself yeah that's like that's what it is happening like see actually they like even if you are suppose i am a investor in a company i'm a founder in a company first thing i will see like what profit i can make second thing what is the impact i am making think of it like you are hired 10000 people and uh, like they you were supposed to work like 1 lakh people Correct. but thing like instead of working like if you all are working like a 1000 people 
that means i have to reduce my team to 1000 members right uh, yes yes absolutely no no uh, that's yeah that's what it's all about when you are affected you see things in a different way when you are on the top few you see things in a different way yeah it's so like, what and yeah it's like uh, a overall what it is happening in the lay of everything like it's not because of chat gpt or any other revolutionize it was happening it's correct. like chat gpt is no more relation because chat gpt was launched in 2020 black box was launched in 2018 Right. don't even know when covid came black box was there yes think what yes, that's we, what like that's during what. covid time we came a exposure of many knowledge like lot of things started happening at panel okay. okay. if you okay. take like 2021 um, intel got a loss of approx like 20% of their budget uh, google yes. lost the 30% of the budget exactly. microsoft because, lost 50% exactly because intel being such a you know huge uh, manufacturing of chips suddenly when there was so much need of the supply of it equipment across the globe as you correctly pointed out their stakes were very high the profits went high but suddenly when things back you know the hybrid model came and now again the work from office is coming back you cannot expect the same profits right no, so it's not because of that see i will say you like human are limited like there are number of limited people who are using suppose your uh, inter started to give a system to all the humans which are alive every student have one laptop now they will not buy a new one immediately right exactly exactly so now this sales will start to get control now they have correct. to roll back correct so that is what happened like during the covid time they over manufactured the thing absolutely now they doesn't require that much so it's great to hear all this uh, you know thoughts from you what i understood is you are saying for example as an employee as someone who has just started a career you also have great dreams you know you have big ambitions but you are least bothered about the dominance of chat gpt because what you think is first its technology has been always been evolving with rapid speed and the speed always gets multiplied point 2 you are also saying like chat G- chat bot was not there it came it did not affect me or it did not intimate me intimated me same thing you are also perceiving chat gpt also you are trying to still uh, use it for your convenience but you are not bothered about its dominance yeah i will say you a best example on this uh, suppose when knife was invented think of a knife or scissor got invented it was never intended to kill a person it was Absolutely. intended to it like was... save our work correct save correct. our time same save way time. chat gpt got invented to save the time suppose you are searching google if you search a article in google suppose you want to search a time series data yeah if you check about it like google give you 50 wikipedia mm-hmm. like 50 pages or 70 pages in that only f- five or six will give you a relevant information what chat gpt will do is like it will take the relevant information and it will give you the relevancy but thing is like right, what pe- people are getting afraid of is like will chat gpt take the creativity job in that absolutely sense, absolutely see it, i for example of... yeah see any singer any poet any one who always uh, work for recognition right there you know that ultimately a human being requires recognition compensation comfort incentives all that is a temporary uh, satisfying factor but ultimately when you in a year ends what is not say in an annual review if a manager doesn't say that rajan your work really had a great impact you will not feel satisfied so that's the major discussion is about people are saying that the whole credit will be taken by chat gpt which i feel is absolutely exaggerated and yeah. i think it's not true just think of it how can a software program will take a human effort yes you are saying like gmail will take over your communication correct correct Does because gmail, took your gmail can give you all the possible uh, tools it can also give you grammarly but the line should come from you yeah. right and I'll when people are saying it. that it will it will write my emails it will it will write your email it will write the body but still the specificness which it requires should come from you right yeah see in machine learning is a saying right whatever you want like whatever a human has to do it has to do once the many everything should be automated the iteration and, should be a job of the robot yeah right why mm-hmm. it has been said like that it's a basic yeah. thing because we are humans we should create thing we should like okay. think of a new thing we should not keep on repeating on thing ha huh. 
chat gpt or this ai may affect the newcomers because they have Absolutely. to learn now a lot yes like yes. when i started my career i has to learn suppose java python or machine learning deep learning is done now these people have to learn the network modeling that Only, challenge is always there that yeah, challenge is always because there the thing yeah. is like when easy of the scale is available suppose in my time right now i am writing things from scratch or i am using a library so whatever i wrote that will be available for my next generation absolutely so for absolutely. them is one task has been reduced now they have to write the next task yeah. so with this mindset if you are going in the industry we can stand but if you want everything to be in your hand in always in your control see human life has 70 to 80 years and suppose elon musk with space x you are going to help him with 80 years lifetime how will you like take credit of that which is occurring 100 years back or hundreds year later Correct. if i want to explore what is outer space like after if we are going after pluto if you are going to the next planet there our life is limited in that Correct. case robots is required <laughs> cool thanks so much uh, rajan uh, all uh, the you know uh, understanding you have as a young engineer and as an em- employee it really gives me a confidence that you know when we believe in ourselves hey folks we are humans and we have been the most selfish species because we also appreciate good things. We also appreciate uh, modern things. That's why we we look out for something new in the market when we buy. We appreciate uh, latest technology and we only spend money when we feel that it is something very updated. So it's simply, uh, you know, to put in a nutshell, it is almost like that. Like, you know, no technology can become a threat to our uh, intellect, our, uh, you know, our thought process only thing is you need to be clever enough to use it for your convenience and you should not encourage its dominance so uh, thank you rajan uh, definitely will catch up again for something uh, you know discussing on something else but it was great uh, you know to know all these things from you thank you thank you sir i welcome